This is a video review of SpongeBob, A Busy Day in Bikini Bottom for the Inatab. I have a Inatab 3 here and the game, SpongeBob. I'm going to put it in here and this is, I'm going to talk a little bit about this game. I haven't done any game reviews for the Inatab 3, but I thought this was, this was a pretty humorous one and I thought I would share it with you. So the SpongeBob SquarePants game, you can get it for $15 on Amazon. And uh, the one that they have out there has free shipping if you spend over $35 or whatever. But when you look at this, it's kind of broken down into three categories. Learning games up here, reading, and creativity. The reading is actually pretty good. It, if, if you don't mind paying $15 for an e-book, it, it's pretty good. It goes through and you can uh, read the story of SpongeBob and and how he thinks he's gonna get fired or something. My, my uh, four-year-old was ecstatic about this book and he really liked reading it and we read it together and he turned all the pages and whatnot and it was actually pretty decent. This is where you can come in here into the storybook and you can pick which page you wanna start on and um, you just touch the page and it starts up on that page. That way you can go on different, you don't have to start at the beginning. So this is the this is the page that you see in the uh, in the trailer that VTech made for this game, and uh, and they talk about how you you can touch the words on here and you can you can see what they mean like overheard. Overheard when SpongeBob overheard Mr. Krabs. Now my kids my kid is four and he's not you know wondering hey what does overheard mean let me let me let me go ahead and touch on this. Maybe I can get some better insight into what is going on in this story. No, what happens is as soon as the animation stops, my kid wants to go like this and turn the page. And it, and so anyway, the storyline here is is pretty. It's okay. It's it's somewhat entertaining and stuff, but it's not like crazy or anything. Like it's really good. So anyway, I'm gonna see if I can get out of this. All right, so here it is back at the menu again. Uh, we went through and we played some of these games. This is the one he enjoys the most, the first nautical bank. You gotta you gotta lean the in a tab around like this to try to get SpongeBob through the maze and then you got to rearrange keys. My four-year-old likes to rearrange the keys and it's kind of fun. But then the funny thing is, you know, this is supposed to be a learning game and, and these are decent learning games, but the thing he's most excited about is this big shot records. Where you come in here Big Shot Records. And then once you get the game started, you come in here, you pick the different kinds of kind of music you like. Come on. Well, it kind of picked the music you like. Then you hit this hit this check box and it starts it up. And then then he starts he starts standing here and you have to do stuff like slide the slide your styles back and forth, slide it up and down and uh, spin it around in circles and he does different dance moves. Oh. There he goes. So, you can do this weird stuff like this and he just dances around. And then you can hit these buttons down here at the bottom and like, ooh, lasers are coming on, ooh. Oh, here comes some squids, oh, that's awesome. And some flowers and some bubbles. Then you can, you can hit this little record button down here and it'll record this while you're making him do all these dance moves and throwing stuff at him and then you can play it back later and for some reason my kid thinks this is awesome and I don't really get the the whole point of it <laughs> but anyway my kid liked it but this game it doesn't have there's the exit button the bad thing is it doesn't have a lot of educational value to this game in my opinion if you're looking at getting Spongebob for your kid uh, just pick something else. This game is not that great, and I and and some people on on eBay and stuff are buying this for fifty dollars. I'm like, what is wrong with you people? Anybody wants to buy this copy of my game for fifty dollars, let me know. I will gladly sell it to you. But anyway, the learning games they're okay. The creativity, my kids like the Big Shot Records and the ebook is okay. If you can pick this up used on Craigslist, you'd probably be better off. But. Anyway, that's just the review of this game. <laughs> I, like I said, my kid made me sit down and read the story with him and it was okay. The rest of it was like, uh, he got some better things to do. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks.